this has just taken a turn for the worse. We're at the location, but um, for the lack of a better word, it's pissing down. What's up, YouTube? How you doing? Uh, start again. <laughs> you actually videoing it? Yeah. Oh, right. That's all right. What's up YouTube? Uh, today I've come down to Cheddar in Somerset with my mate Craig. Cheese. Oh, yeah, Cheddar, home of the Cheddar Cheese. Um, what else is it home of? Caves. Caves. Oh yeah, Wookie Hole Cave. Used to go there as a kid. The reason I'm down here today is because I have a new toy with me. It is the Canon EOS R. And the plan today is to do some landscape photography. Um, I've got the camera for literally just this afternoon borrowing it from the guys at Clifton Cameras so we're going to take it up the uh, cliff walk we're going to hopefully shoot a cool sunset we're going to test out what it can do Yeah, I'm definitely not as fit as I used to be. So for those of you that don't know, the Canon EOS R is a 30.3 megapixel full frame mirrorless camera from Canon. They claim to have 5,655 AF positions, not points, which is very interesting. I don't know how they've done that, but it's something that I'm gonna to explore today. You can buy it as a body. They currently have four native lenses and they also have an adapter so you can shoot with your EF and EFS lenses which is pretty useful if you want to stay with Canon but the reason why I'm shooting with this today is because after using Canon for years and years I started with a 600D I moved to the 6D I've still got a 5DS I love Canon but I got frustrated and so I ended up switching to Sony and I shoot now with the Sony A7 Mark III so I'm very intrigued to see how this EOS R holds up against that just about caught my breath uh, this climb was pretty steep to be fair it's been a long time since I've been here but the plan I think is to shoot uh, a classic cheddar composition we're just trying to locate the point now where we can shoot the sunset with a leading line of the road winding through the gorge so we're just trying to find that now so that's what I'll be shooting with the OSR and then hopefully we're going to drop down into the gorge once the sun's gone down to shoot some long exposures of the traffic. Um, really that's all I'm going to test with the EOS R today. Most of the images I'll share will be straight from camera. The edited versions will be on my Instagram which I'll link in the description. Um, so yeah, we're going to go and find the location, get set up, wait for sunset, maybe fly the drone, shoot some b-roll and try not to fall off the edge. <laughs>
What are you doing, mate? It takes me mad. <laughs> right, we're heading up there. I think that's the highest point. That's where we're going to set up, and that's hopefully where we're going to get a banging sunset. So let's go. And it's just started raining. And like a couple of idiots, well, actually, you're wearing a raincoat. I'm wearing a bloody leather jacket. So. And sunglasses. Yeah, and sunglasses. We're getting soaked. Hopefully, it's just a shower because I brought no waterproof stuff whatsoever because I'm an idiot. This has just taken a turn for the worse. We're at the location, but um, for the lack of a better word, it's pissing down. I'm hoping it's just a shower, but we will see. We're at the location and we're both bloody freezing. So I'm probably not going to send the drone up because I don't think I could fly it right now. My hands are like ice. We got soaked. Um, but sunset's kicking off behind us. I've got the EOS R set up on the tripod there. Um, I've only got the one lens with me, the 24 to 105 f4 IS. Uh, interestingly, Canon say that they're not going to follow the trend with Sony and Nikon having inbuilt. Uh, image stabilization in body uh, all their IS is built into their lenses uh, which is a bit of a minus for me now I'm used to Sony's IBIS but because um, I'm shooting on the tripod today it doesn't really matter but um, I haven't got a super wide lens at 24 I can't really get the composition I want uh, so I'm gonna do my best um, even holding this tripod right now is getting cold so <laughs> I'm gonna get shooting um, and hopefully I'll get some good shots. Right, <laughs> mission abort. Uh, we're literally heading back down the gorge now, back to the car. So I'm gonna do the little ending now because I don't know where we're gonna go to shoot the light trails. It's probably gonna be zero light. Um, so I won't be able to talk to the camera. In terms of the sunset kind of shots I was trying to get with this camera, it didn't happen. Sunset was a duff. Initial impressions of the US are though, uh, for those that shoot Canon, you're gonna like it. Uh, looks, feels, operates like a Canon does. Touchscreen's great. Menu system is as you'd expect in a Canon, really easy to use. Uh, autofocus is, yeah, pretty quick to be fair, even in live view. Uh, never really hunted or anything like that even though I was on a tripod. I uh, did some handheld shots on the way back down the hill. So that's a, that's a plus. One big plus in my book, uh, which I've not seen in any other mirrorless camera I've used so far, is this shutter feature. So when you take the lens off, um, a shutter comes down and protects the sensor. So um, if you've used mirrorless cameras before, you'd know that when you take the lens off, it's really, really easy to get the sensor dirty. Here, Canon have done a great job of designing uh, something that kind of stops that from happening, so that's awesome. I'm a bit gutted that I haven't really had a lot of opportunity to play with it, really. We got soaked earlier, so I didn't get it out, and then by the time we did set up, it turned out to be a bit of a nightmare. Uh, I'm sure I'll get my hands on it again. I want to do a portrait shoot with it because it does, uh, does have eye autofocus something that I love on my Sony, shooting a lot of portraits. I don't think I could operate without it now. Um, so maybe I'll get it and do a portrait shoot at some point. Uh, but for now, 
we're gonna I'm trying to navigate my way down all these rocks without falling over while talking to you but yeah um, sorry I can give you more information on the camera and the images that I probably do post won't be my best work but first impressions I like it do I like it more than Sony probably not so uh, until the next time guys cheers for watching like subscribe blah 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 talk to you soon cheers